amazing. We ask for your next dance, Jive. Well, no time to take a breath. This is it. This is the moment. All year, and here we go. <laughs> oh, look at those hips, Paul. Oh, that's it. You've got to have a bit of fun. Get the nerves out and then start pumping it. Do you wish you were out there? I do. <laughs> <laughs> like they say, once a dancer, always a dancer. Zoran and Tatiana from Croatia. I'm gonna jump with my baby, no, I don't need baby tonight. This is the best of the best we're watching. Best Latin dancers in the world tonight. That's it, and at this time of the competition, when everyone's tired, the judges will be looking for action, jive action, which is a requirement of the knees to be pumping, the kicks to be nice and high, to have a little bit of a jive tick and also using the hip action. And it never hurts to be a little bit flirty with the crowd. Well, they've done all they can. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing jive. And now the moment. You've got to put everything you've got into this one, right? That's it. I mean, we're back to solo dancers again, so each couple must come onto the floor individually. The order has changed, so each couple will come out again, do an individual paso, and then it's all on for the last dance to decide the 2008 IDSF Tattersalls World Champion. Looking at Yuri and Jagoda here from Slovenia. What do you think their chances are like tonight? I think they've done extremely well in this final. I think um, they've got a good chance to be doing well in the result. It's hard to know. I just know with the first two or three places look pretty much concreted in, so they'll be going more for the minor places, I think. They've certainly been so entertaining to watch tonight. It's true. Congratulations. Beautifully executed. Thank you, Yuris and Jagoda. I now invite couple number 64, Martino and Michelle, to do their Paso Doble. Look at the focus. Mm. Totally in the moment. This music that you're listening to, Charlie, is called Spanish Gypsy. It's time specifically for this dance in a certain amount of eight counts with highlights and clashes. both of them. So beautiful. It's a pleasure to watch them perform all night. Oh, spectacular turns. Oh. Thank you, Martino and Michelle. They would be so happy with that performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back couple number 33, Andre and Anna, dancing their version of the Paso Doble. 
I'd like to hear your thoughts of how you think this couple's gone all night. You know, I'm, this couple has sort of been very much in the background, but I think they've been doing an amazing job. And now when we see them individually, they really are showing how fantastic they are. Mm. I think they have a great chance to be in the top three tonight. I'm glad to hear you say that because they've certainly been striking. Really high standard all night in all of their routines. Just great form in their silhouettes. Right up close to the crowd. Such confidence on the floor. You can see that they're just having a faultless performance. So together, synchronised. Oh. Ole, what a finish. Passa doble. Thank you, Andre and Anna. That feeling as a performer when everything goes well, you just can't beat it. Oh, the crowd love it. Please welcome to the floor couple number 25, Zoran and Tatiana. Your dance, Passa Doble. Now, nothing could be more nerve-wracking than starting a Passa Doble in front of, in front of Helen Ritchie. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. I've been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, same here for nearly 20 years. <laughs> Tell me, how are the points accumulated at this stage? I mean, is it a fresh start for them every time they come out, or is it...? Well, actually, what's happening here for the Paso Doble is the judges probably won't mark in this first individual dance. So what they'll do is they'll just get an impression, maybe pencil something down of what impressed them or what was good or bad. And then what they'll do is they'll wait till all the couples come on for the all on Paso Doble, and then they'll probably decide who is going to be the winner of that dance. What is interesting, Charlie, is when it comes to the marking of the competition, is even though the judges have seen these couples all day, every round that you get back to, you're judged afresh. Oh, right, OK. So it's very hard for the judges. They must take away any previous um, performances and just mark you as they see it at this point in time on the dance floor. Mm. Well, this has been a wonderful performance. Do you think it's enough to get them through to the top? I hope so. Well, the crowd are pleased. Thank you, Zoran and Tatiana. I would like to invite couple number 80, Stefano and Anna, for their version of the Paso Doble. Oh, I'll be honest, I'm very excited about this. Look at that, that's confidence. Mm. Right away, opposite sides of the floor they walk on. <laughs> Look at him, he looks like a gladiator about to do battle. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Even though he's not looking at Anna, you can see that his body language, he is totally aware of where she is. Great implosion through the body, through the rib cage, just showing and oozing absolute masculinity. Mm, I've got goosebumps. What we're seeing now is just, to me, the best of the best. This is incredible. Yeah, I think we're seeing our champions right here. We shouldn't call it too early. We've still got a few more seconds for them to dance. <laughs> Again, I just want to say that Anna, you know, she's dancing her heart out out there, but she doesn't even look like she's breaking a sweat.